Hi everyone, welcome to Dubsado's webinar series. Thank you for tuning in with me as I present to you how to use Dubsado as a virtual assistant. Today I'll be sharing with you the benefits of using Dubsado, two effective ways to lead capture, the proposal to partnership workflow. My name is Sophia Jones, and I am a system specialist. I help coaches, creatives, and other service providers streamline and automate their client experience, and I absolutely enjoy it. I love helping business owners meet their operational goals and feel empowered in their business. And that's evident in my 17 plus year history, uh, providing executive support in about a year hospitality management. I started my business as a virtual assistant and it was no surprise to me that I would find my zone and niche in systems because I've spent a lot of time successfully managing departments with organization and systems I created with tools I found that were most efficient. I'm still very much connected with my virtual assistant community and wanted to share how I used Dubsado as a virtual assistant because I saw the need there. So the benefits of using Dubsado. A seamless process for you and your clients. You can especially achieve this by using automated workflows and follow-ups to stay ahead of the client. Functionality that allows you to centralize client management with the features Dubsado has and the ability to integrate with other tools, it makes it easier to keep client management in one place. Present yourself as a professional in part because of the consistent follow-ups and cohesive brand presence that you can have. Save time spent on manual tasks. Add a skill to your VA arsenal. More business owners are implementing Dubsado in their business and seeking VAs that are proficient in using the system, which makes it a valuable skill. And after my first two clients in business, what didn't really sit well with me was sending out a portfolio PDF and email using Hello Sign to get a contract signed. I wasn't even using a scheduler yet. I would just agree with a time um, and send an appointment confirmation. Working out of so many different platforms um, was not the level of efficiency I was used to and really left room for details to get slipped through the cracks. So I found out about Dubsado in the VA community and I signed up and the rest is history. Um, my top reasons for choosing Dubsado are because they're, it is highly customizable. The automated workflows and email sequences at $35 a month, it made it an affordable choice. Though I signed up for the forever plan and combined it with a discount and that was just a sweeter deal. Um, their customer service is very responsive. Uh, the client portal and the scheduler, because I didn't want to have to sign up for Acuity and Cal or Calendly. Let's talk about Lead Capture 1. This Lead Capture form is on your website contact page. Here, a prospective client can fill out the form and it will kickstart your workflow and subsequent responses. If you have more than one type of services, for instance, you provide social media management or community management um, or system setup, you can have a workflow field on your form which essentially is a drop down that allows the prospect to choose the service they're interested in and their selection will trigger that workflow that you have built for that particular service. 
After they have submitted the form, they will immediately receive an email response to acknowledge them and that you're excited and when they should hear back from you. And as you can see here on the lead capture form, the project status moves to new inquiry once the form is submitted on the projects dashboard. And if you're not familiar with project statuses in Dubsado, they're a great method of tracking leads by allowing you to organize these leads by milestones as they move through your workflows. The next step in this inquiry process should go like um, you review the lead, then you send out um, your discovery scheduler and a questionnaire, and the status can then be moved to book call if they schedule that appointment with you, and then you can start the proposal workflow. Let's look at lead capture too. This is through email in response to a job posting where the virtual assistant is required to initiate first contact with an email address listed. Job postings are one of the most common ways virtual assistants receive leads. And they're usually in places such as Facebook groups, membership communities, social media postings, or just word of mouth referrals. After you've reviewed the description and requirements for the job um, and you're like, OMG, this is what you know I want to do, this is speaking to me, I have to reach out. Your first step would be to send an email from your Gmail or Outlook account, whichever you use with your capabilities deck or one page that highlights the systems and processes you are proficient in. Um, you attach that and a link to your scheduler and lead capture form. Now, some of you may be thinking, can't you just create a new project in Dubsado and send the email and scheduler from there? Sure you can, but I prefer to collect information from prospects that show genuine interest in working with me. I personally don't want my system to be inundated with cold leads. So the email that you're going to send out would look something like this. Um, it would have a greeting. You're gonna refer to the posting or mention um, the person that may have referred you. Here you would have your pitch where you explain how you can help them um, and how you meet their requirements. You're going to refer to the capabilities deck or one sheet that you've attached to the email. You can add a testimonial, which would be a bonus. And then you have your call to action with that link to book with you. Let's look at what the client would see if they click on this link to book. Okay, so your scheduler would show up here like this, and then they would select the date and time that they're interested, submit and next, and they will be taken to the, a lead capture form. And this is a simple lead capture form um, where you would just get their first name, last name, the business email. I like to ask how they prefer to chat, whether it's by video conference or phone, and then they would hit submit and next. Once they book and submit the form, it will appear in the consultation book status as seen here on the lead capture form settings. They will also receive an immediate appointment confirmation email, which looks like this. And I created this email um, in the canned emails and it's linked to the scheduler and triggered by the scheduler. And because I have Zoom integrated with my Dubsado, Zoom links are automatically generated for them. I also ensure that the appointment reminders for one and 24 hours before the meeting time is in the scheduler. The approach I take is to split up workflows in phases because it makes it more flexible and manageable. 
And those are sequences associated with your web website lead capture and email lead capture are different. They both can funnel to the same proposal workflow. Now we're moving to the proposal to partnership workflow. So let's go over to the back end of Dubsado so I can show you these steps. We are in the client project dashboard and this is a mock account and client that I've created. Um, this proposal workflow would have already been triggered by either the inquiry workflow or the job posting response lead capture. And I've set it up this way so I don't have to do it manually. And when I get off the discovery call, the proposal is already in the project to be edited. And the first step in this workflow is to send the proposal, but um, I have it as set to go out after I approve by clicking this approve button. And that's because I need time to edit the proposal uh, before it goes out to the client. And how we edit would be going to forms. And then you can click edit here on the proposal document. And I've used CSS on this proposal um, to design it. And you can absolutely have Canva as your way of designing your proposal. That's what I did when I first started as a VA. Um, in your VA proposal, you want to include the project goals and scope of work. And this is usually the area that you would edit. And also you would be editing, you may be editing which package that you present to them. And this is how you can do that. Just click on the package and um, select which package I want to show them whether it's something different and I know you're looking at these titles like what is this package name and a lot of people get creative with their package names like silver gold and platinum package but this is just for demonstration purposes. You can also add those deliverables in the packages like this here is an example of the deliverable shown along with the package um, and this you can create in your package template and once you have edited the package you can hit save And by the way, here is the project statuses and you can see how you can label your project statuses as they move along the workflow. Let's take a look at what the client sees when they open up their proposal. So here's the view of the client's view of the proposal and when I first created the proposal I chose the option to add the contract and invoice. In that way when they select the package that they want to choose they go down to submit and next. Their contract would be here and then the invoice and they can pay the invoice immediately. Now we're back in the proposal workflow. Let's pretend I've hit approve and sent out the proposal. Um, I have a trigger here that's set to send an email a certain amount of days after I have not heard from the potential client. And this is a great practice to include a follow-up. Also, 
when I have not heard from them within the same amount of days, it would go into like a follow-up status. When the invoice is paid, they will immediately receive a email confirmation, which I've added uh, with a link to their invoice. When the invoice is paid, it triggers the next workflow, which is the booked client workflow. Now let's take a look at the booked client workflow. To kickstart the book client workflow, it changes the project status to onboarding. And then it activates the client portal. Then I've set a to do to remind myself to set the client portal password. The next step would be for the system to trigger a copy of the welcome guide to be added to the portal. I don't have this sent directly to the client because in their welcome email, I will be letting them know that their welcome guide would be in the portal. The next trigger would be to send the onboarding questionnaire form. Technically, this is the welcome email and it looks like this. So they get this really cute confetti gift. Um, it's states that step one, they are going to complete their onboarding questionnaire, which would be sent out with this email. They get their client portal link and password. And I mentioned that the welcome packet would have been added to the portal ahead of time. So they can view their welcome packet in the portal. And then they get to schedule the kickoff call in step three. After all those actions are completed, they officially become an active client and your partnership. You should remember to set up a to-do to remind yourself to set up recurring invoices for your retainer clients. So we talked about a welcome guide. I just wanted to show you how you can add a PDF version of your welcome guide into your forms. So you can go to the form section here. Under questionnaires, there's this little arrow pointing up arrow, and you can click on that and drop your PDF file in here of your welcome guide. Another crucial workflow in your client journey you want to go ahead and build out is the offboarding sequence. If you need tips on this, feel free to reach out to me in my DMs. Also, if you need some help getting started, I do have a free guide, which I will link to my Instagram bio. And you should check out the Dubsado 101 course. Always remember to think about the what if scenarios when building out your workflows. And as your business shifts or grows, there will be changes to your workflows. Thank you for hanging with me. I hope I've given you enough valuable insight on how you can use Zupsado in your business. Be sure to follow me on my socials. Use my code SBJ20 for your discount if you decide to subscribe. Bye now.